that all over again. And one, two, three. Good. Go. Five. Strong arms. Stay steadily. So guys, you're not gonna believe this. I caught a Charizard yesterday, and then ten minutes later, I caught a freaking Snorlax in my apartment. I was just walking up my stairs, pulled out Pokemon Go, freaking Charizard pops up, and I, I freaked out. I was like, oh my god, no. I, I seriously cannot believe it. And so I clicked on it as fast as I could, and I also recorded it so you guys are going to be able to see the legendary battle. It took like three minutes to catch this thing. It was insane. I cannot believe how long it took. So we're going to go ahead and check it out uh, real quick, and then we'll also watch the Snorlax because I caught that seven minutes later. and. Uh, <laughs> And I recorded that too. Afterwards, we're gonna power up my Snorlax and Charizard as much as we can, and then we'll go battle a gym with them. So let's go check it out. All right, guys. So here we have the legendary battle between me and the Charizard. It was so intense. So I gave it a Raspberry. Watch this first throw. Great throw, even <laughs> under the pressure. I was like freaking out this entire time because I mean, how many times have you tried catching like a freaking Pidgey and it runs away second throw, flies away? Might be. Um, so like that's happened to me so many times. And every time that the Charizard broke out of the ball, I had a mini heart attack. And this was a long battle, so I had a lot of mini heart attacks. It was intense. Uh, but after I caught the Charizard, I ran upstairs because my girlfriend was over and I told her, there's a Charizard, get over there now and go and catch it. And her battle was honestly pretty intense too because when she first started battling it, she had like three great balls and probably about like 10 Pokeballs. <laughs> so she's trying to catch this Charizard and she runs out of Pokeballs. At that point, I seriously thought that she wasn't going to be able to catch it. I mean, what a terrible time to run out of Pokeballs. So she leaves the Charizard. She leaves the Charizard and she goes and buys more Pokeballs. She got, I think, like 20 Pokeballs. And then luckily the Charizard was still there. So she clicks on the Charizard. And I think it was like maybe first or second throw that she caught the Charizard. And like we freaked out. It was insane. She caught the Charizard with the Pokeball. She's seriously such a beast at this game. I mean, when we were at the Santa Monica Pier, we were both battling the gym, and I think there were like 10 people battling this gym. My game glitched out and I couldn't beat it, but she beat the gym and she put her Dragonite on the gym before anybody else could. And I was, I was honestly really proud. I'm like, this is why I'm dating you. <laughs> it was cool. But yeah, then she caught the Charizard. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to catch the Snorlax because for me, I was able to get it from the apartment, but she had to go out and uh, go downstairs and try and um, walk closer to it. But it popped up and then right away it disappeared and so she wasn't able to catch it. So anyways, that was the throw right there that got me the win. An excellent throw. I was like so proud of that. I'm like, this has to be the one. And there we go. We caught the Charizard. I was so hyped. I ran upstairs freaking out. It was, it was awesome. I, like, the Charizard was seriously harder to catch than the Dragonite. I caught the Dragonite in like, I think three throws, or it was like either three or four throws. But yeah, there we go. Charizard has been caught. So we caught the Charizard, and then she told me that there was a Snorlax nearby. I was like, no way. There's seriously no way. Um, but it was like, it, it was, this has been like 10 minutes since uh, she saw the Snorlax in her nearby. And so I was like, I kind of gave up. I was like, I don't think we can, I don't think we can find it. It's probably going to despawn or whatever. But, um, I, I just had my phone out and I was walking around the apartment just to make sure. And I get to the end of the apartment and then the Snorlax pops up. I'm like, it's right here. The Snorlax is right here. And so I clicked on it and she, she couldn't find it, unfortunately. She had to go downstairs and, um, go outside where, where it was because for some reason mine could pick it up, but hers didn't. But when she got down there, uh, she saw the Snorlax, but unfortunately right away it disappeared. So that was pretty sad, but I'm really happy that she got the Charizard, because I mean, she had like barely any Pokeballs left. Look at this Snorlax though, 1851, and his attack move, Hyper Beam, it does 70 damage, that's insane. All right guys, so now I'm gonna update you with the Pokemon that I've caught recently, because I haven't really updated you guys on that. Um, so let's go ahead and check out the Pokedex, because last video um, that I showed you my Pokemon, I was at 101 caught um, in the Pokedex. So let's go ahead and check out the new ones. So obviously Snorlax and Charizard are one of them. And then I got a Dodrio, I evolved that from a Doduo. And I got a Ninetales, I evolved that too. And then I got this Aerodactyl from an egg, 1216. I, was, <laughs> I freaked out when I got this one. It was insane. Um, and then I got the Beedrill, finally. 
I've seen so many comments, people will say, like, how do you not have a Beedrill yet? It's because freaking Weedles are cheeky and they always run away from me. Uh, anyways, um, let's see, what else is new? Uh, don't know what else is new, honestly. Uh, Gloom, I think, is one. I, Almost Star is one, I'm not sure if I showed you guys that yet. Uh, but, yeah, anyways. So that's pretty much all the new Pokemon that I've got. So now we're gonna level up the Snorlax and the Charizard. And we're, then after that we're gonna go and battle the gym. So it's gonna take three Snorlax candy to power up this Snorlax. And 3,000 uh, Stardust, so let's see how much that's gonna get us. Plus 42, okay, so he's at 1893, but that's pretty much all we can level him up. He's almost maxed out from my level. But now let's go ahead and level up this Charizard. So as you can see, he's got a ways to go, and I've got 13 Charmander candy, so we're gonna power him up as much as we can. I really want to get my Dragonite leveled up. I need to catch some Dratini. I have to go to the beach or something to catch them because there are seriously none around here. And this is the last one. He's going to be at 1351. So I, I see a lot of Charmanders around here, so I'm sure I can uh, keep powering him up. Dang, dude, he has 99 HP. He, he can't just get like one more HP. Oh well. I'm sure we'll find a Charmander pretty soon. So anyways. Now we're gonna go and battle a gym with our newly acquired Pokemon. This is gonna be the last time that I use this camera because I don't really like it. I'm gonna return it and get a new one. Um, the problem with it is that it doesn't have a screen that flips up so I can't see myself when I'm like vlogging by myself. And that, I, that's a problem. <laughs> so, um, cause I don't always have a camera man, but anyways, we're gonna go to the gym across the street and it should be good. It's a little echoey in here, it's fine. Alright guys, so we're here at the park, and let's see what we got here. There's a Flareon and a Vaporeon. We're gonna use the Charizard, let's see, hold on. We're gonna use the Charizard on the Flareon, and then we're gonna use the Snorlax on the Vaporeon. That's a pretty high level Vaporeon too. Let's destroy, dude, the Charizard looks freaking sick. Oh my gosh, I'm so hyped for this Charizard. And he does like a little tail whip, interesting. Let's let's charge up this blue meter and use our set our powerful attack on him. I actually don't remember what it is. It might be flamethrower. But here we go. I, it didn't tell me what it was. <laughs> Dang it. Alright, well anyways, we're gonna destroy this Flareon. And it is really hot in my truck because I had to turn the AC off. Alright, so now here's the Snorlax. He has so much health. He has like 200 HP. And oh my gosh, he attacks pretty fast. All right, so now we're gonna use Hyper Beam. This attack does 70 damage, or yeah, it's 70 attack power, whatever. It actually takes a long time to use. Okay, that did like nothing. Well, actually compared to my main attack, that actually did quite a bit. Is he gonna beat my Snorlax? There's no way. Dude, you, okay, that took for, it didn't even show the Hyper Beam on that one. We gotta beat this guy before he uses his powerful attack, cause I, that did a ton of damage to my Snorlax, oh my gosh. But there we go, oh yeah, he just used Hydro Pump. That Vaporeon has Hydro Pump. So yeah, we almost took this gym out. Yeah, we might as well just completely take this gym out. My arm is starting to get tired. <laughs> okay, so yeah, just the Vaporeon is left and we'll use the Snorlax because um, I don't wanna put my Charizard against the water type, that wouldn't be good. All right, so we, yeah, we definitely should be able to beat this guy. I'm actually really glad my Snorlax has Hyper Beam. I saw another Snorlax had it. And I was like, dude, I really hope when I catch a Snorlax that he has Hyper Beam. And we're going to use it again. Oh yeah, dude, his Hydro Pump does so much damage. Oh my gosh. Why are they just sitting there? Both the Pokemon were just sitting there. Okay, so yeah, we should be able to take him out with just our Snorlax. So this gym is ours now. I'm going to put my Snorlax up there because I think, I mean, I'm the only person here. So we're only going to be able to put one Pokemon. And I think the Snorlax is probably going to be the best at defending this gym. So we're gonna put the Snorlax up there. And there we go, Jim is ours. All right guys, let's go wrap it up this video. So that was pretty insane, catching a Charizard and then seven minutes later catching a Snorlax. In order to catch these rare Pokemon, I feel like you have to be in the right spot at the right time, which is, I don't know, kind of sucky, but <laughs> I don't know. I just got really lucky and was uh, walking up my stairs at the right time. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's pretty much it though. So make sure to check out my other videos, and until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Oh, we're battling it? Yeah, just oh. battle it. Just go, just one Pokemon. What's oh, it, Magmar? Alright, guys. I just took it out. This is the first gym. You took it out already? It's a 252 combat power. Magmar gets my 1026.